Yes, hello, it's me, Tanfastigana. I'm a fourth year college student and I have opinions. Specifically, I have opinions about art supplies. Today, I would like to review another art product for you. And this week's product is... Oh my god, it's already all over my hands. It's never gonna come off. Charcoal! Charcoal is made by burning things and then drawing with the charred remains because humans will make art out of literally anything. It is often used by fancy real artists who use it to make super, super good, realistic art pieces, but it is also used by people who are just about to learn that they have no idea how to use charcoal or how to get it out of the clothes. Charcoal is a superb tool for getting all over your hands and then wiping it onto your friend's face. Charcoal in general is really good at making marks that look way better than graphite marks for reasons that no one can figure out, and it's also good for if you want to ruin your clothes and give yourself black lung. These are two different forms of compressed charcoal, which is charcoal that is compressed. That's a bad joke. It can come in sticks, and it can come in pencils, and it can come in a lot of different shapes. It usually makes the darkest and boldest marks, and it's also the least likely to crumble into dust in your hand the minute you pick it up. This is vine charcoal. I don't have a piece that's any bigger than this. Actually, no, that's a lie. This is also vine charcoal. It's fatter. This used to be a lot longer, but they use up really fast. I will be honest, I don't know how they get them to be shaped like this. They make, in my opinion, the prettiest marks of most charcoal. They are great for if you hand tone your paper by yourself, and they're moderately erasable, which means you can like add highlights and stuff to your drawings with them. And also, sometimes they make the worst noise ever when you're drawing with them. And it's totally unpredictable and completely unavoidable. I was considering like finding a way to make that noise on this video, but then I decided not to do that. This is just called a chunky charcoal, so that's fun. I don't remember where I got this. I don't think I've ever used it either. It won't come out. <laughs> it won't come out. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Oh god, it's everywhere. <sighs> I'm putting it back. Oh no, stop shredding. This video is a mess. And then there's this other kind of charcoal. Um, and these have a title, I think. I don't really know what this is. Anyway, these are very soft, they get absolutely everywhere, and the split second you pick one of these up, it will be all over your hands forever, and there's nothing you can do to stop that from happening. This is your life now. They are very smooth and they blend really well and they feel pretty nice, but just like... These are charcoal pastels that are white, and uh, I don't know how that happened. How did they make you? Oh well, I touched it, so now it's not really white anymore, now it's kind of like gray. Charcoal is extremely messy, but it's surprisingly versatile, aside from the fact that it only comes in black and white. You can use it for messy gesture drawing and it looks really nice, or you can use it for really finely detailed stuff and it still looks really nice. It's fairly easy to make shadow and highlights with these, and if you do a lot of traditional art, it's probably a really good medium to learn. So I guess my rating for charcoal is... PG-13, because it's dirty. But remember, no matter what art supply you use, or what you draw, or where you are in your artistic journey, you're doing great and I'm proud of you. Now if you'll excuse me, I saw a cat outside my building this morning and I'm gonna go see if I can pet it. See you next time. Oh my god, how am I gonna turn my camera off?